Whenever there's a school shooting or something like that, you will assume the perpetrator was crazy hmm. in the state of suppression. One of the distancing techniques that people often use when they see some, some great tragedy, a school shooter, a genocide, Holocaust, something terrible, it's a bit too convenient to say, oh, they were crazy. Only crazy people do that. But biblically speaking, depravity is found in every human heart. And the seeds of evil are planted in all of us. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to go out and be an axe murderer, but I think there is a chilling reality in that that perpetrator is not a whole lot different from you or me. That perpetrator, that, that school shooter, we're just one or two circumstances away from being in their shoes. Now, that's not supposed to say everybody's uh, about to go do something wild and crazy, but it is supposed to point out to us that we need humility, and we need honesty in our politics, in the way we vote, in the way we conduct ourselves in civilization. It's been said that, that civilization is a thin crust atop of a volcano. And I think that is what uh, Thomas Sowell would call the tragic vision of the conservative. And from a Christian standpoint, when we have depravity in our own hearts, we have to recognize that it's more natural for us to be sinful than to be humanitarian. It's more natural for us to be selfish than for us to be selfless. And recognizing that, we have to step back from that and, and recognize that school shooter or that genocidal maniac, those things happen in bureaucratic, modern, constitutional societies. People forget that, that um, the democides, that is uh, uh, government-based killing, that happened in Russia and in China and under Mussolini in Italy, those happen in constitutional republics, modern governments, and yet hundreds of millions dead. How could that happen? Well, it's because you don't need a whole lot of crazy people to facilitate evil in society. You need compliant masses. And that does happen. That happens all over the place, and I would contend that's happening right now in America because the deadliest act against fellow human beings is ongoing right now, and many of the compliant masses are turning a blind eye, and it's abortion. In the U.S. alone, we've aborted 10 times as many as were killed in the Holocaust already, and it's still counting. And so if we want to look at that school shooter or, or Hitler or Mussolini or Stalin or Lenin or Mao and say, oh, I could never be like that, they're crazy, recognize that's what we look like plus a few circumstances. And it's there but by the grace of God do we not go there.